Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well, guys. <clears throat> and with all the kafafel with the virus, I'm trying to keep myself in and locked in in my apartment. So I thought to do a video today, and <clears throat> it's a What's in My Bag featuring one of the latest bags that I have acquired. It's the Celine Nano Luggage. But if you do want to know more about this, I'll do a like first impressions, kind of not a full-blown review, but I want to give you my thoughts um, on this bag. So if you want to know more about this, please continue watching. But to anyone who has just tuned into this channel, hello, my name is Kenny. I do these kind of videos, bag-related, ba um, luxury bag unboxings, reviews. And I do enjoy free love luxury and if this is your cup of tea, I'd like for you to consider subscribing to my channel by hitting that um, subscribe button and the like button and yes guys, I'd like for you to join me in this journey. <laughs> so yes guys, um, let's get started. So first off guys, I have this bag for more than a month now. It was sent off to me end of January but I received it in first few weeks of February but I really enjoyed this bag so so much I this is this is one of those bags that are like where have you been all my life you know insert Brianna <laughs> so yeah um, I kind of understood the trend that it was before I mean, I don't see a lot of people wearing this bag um, these days, so I'm so happy <laughs> that no one is rocking this bag anymore. I mean, not no one, but not a lot of people does or do. So, yeah. And in this combination, I cannot have asked for like a perfect combination as this. I wasn't even looking when I got this bag. So it came from New York. Um, this lady was, um, what? She was based in New York. She was studying interior design at Parsons, which is like one of my dreams. That's one of my dreams, guys. I've been, when I was still in high school or when I was still doing my nursing, I thought to myself, I really want to go to Parsons and do some kind of arts course or something like that but did n that did not transpire just because I have an Asian family and they push you <laughs> to do something else that would you know be more like what um, beneficial to your future which is good as well but I just thought to tell you guys that <laughs> but anyway so I I'm obsessed guys. I have not changed I think to any other bags. I mean I do some quick changes but I do still fall back to this bag. Um it's a tiny it's a small bag. It's in the these age of mini bags. This is a, not a mini I think but it's a small bag but it's kind of a tote style bag with that open closure but it does have the zipper if you want to like make your bag secure and but I do love that feature as well and I I just love this bag so much I have could not have asked for a perfect bag as this I mean it's a very casual bag I would not use this in like an, a formal event or a wedding but maybe a black could maybe slip on through the cracks but I I'm, I feel like this bag is very casual but very versatile as well for travels and especially going out so yeah um, what are my first impressions on this I mean, I am so happy that the handle was black because I'm also concerned that 
you know, I do use lotions and it, the oils on my hands could transfer onto it. So no worries about that. And I'm happy, but as I've mentioned in my unboxing video on this, or reveal video, is that I might do a DIY, like, like a bag rehab video a la, what, um, it's Hadrian. But I just thought to leave it and just use this bag um, as much as I can. And then if I feel like it's getting very, very sad, that's the time that I'll send it out to the bag spa. But at the moment, I'll leave it and just keep and continue using it. So, yeah, I feel like this is... In the beginning when I got this, because of the handles here at the back, it does rub onto your like body so I feel like it's a bit uncomfortable but you know you'll get used to it I think it's not bothering me anymore but especially when you have a jacket on it does not bother you at all anymore oh my God, my sh sorry I'm not trying to flash my boob or anything so yeah um all right <laughs> that's my few impressions on this so we'll go through the like contents of the bag it's pretty packed it's quite heavy as well so I've got my iPhone 11 Pro Max which is so heavy that's that <laughs> okay I've got this Innisfree Jojo Lava Seawater face mist and I'm obsessed with this. I am so happy that my friend Jet has recommended this to me and I could not have asked. I mean, I don't e I wasn't even like planning on using any face mist. But James Welsh, guys, you have to check his channel. He does a lot of beauty, not beauty, but skincare related videos. He's so good. And this one, oh my goodness. makes your face so fresh and plump and you do really feel like you're like beside the beach or something like that it's so it smells so fresh and I love it and I'm almost through the bottom of the bottle so I might repurchase that okay so I do s always carry snacks with me everywhere I go these are just those typical health bars this one's like oats like apple almonds dark chocolate and when I do check these on the supermarket or groceries I always check the star ratings in Australia we do have that and this is a 4.5 out of 5 star rating so I just thought okay I'm so healthy when I eat when I eat it <laughs> Yes. I need to sip one coffee because it's getting cold. Alright. And I've got my Louis Vuitton six ring key holder. This is in the Epi leather. It's just has my keys. And I always put this around everywhere I go. I was raised we are a Catholic family and also I attended a Catholic school in the Philippines and pretty much all schools are Catholic anyway because it's a Catholic country pretty much so I got this St. Benedict St. Benedict um, medallion or medal and I bring this everywhere I go and yeah he does protect me everywhere I go so I just have that everywhere in my bag so, so now it's here so I can't like lose it or forget to bring it with me. Another help bar. Okay, so my lens cleaner cloth. Oh my goodness, where is it? Alright. My Nivea Hydro Care lip balm. Might need to switch to a more moisturizing one and because it's starting to get cold here. And of course, this doesn't leave my bag. It's the Palmolive Japanese Cherry Blossom 
sanitizer. So this is so good. It smells so good as well. Mm, I'm not sure what this is called, but it's a Louis Vuitton like waist pouch or belt and you do thread a belt through it but I just use it as a catch-all card holder which has mostly my coffee cards and some rewards cards and everything like that and I might have some coins in here as well so I love this one so much I'm, I've seen when when Stokes she hold a Louis Vuitton key pouch with the white canvas I love it but I when I check the Louis Vuitton online store they don't we don't have it here sadly but yeah I want to have that too probably on the wish list of course I do have a blister pack of Panadol just because just because airpods all right if you're a Filipino you'll understand what this is it's a pulveron and um, with the, from the brand Goldilocks I love this so much <laughs> is it expired yet <laughs> no, it's not mm, but it's pretty much a pastry made of flour sugar and milk milk powder and it's so good I love this one to drink with my coffee as well so yeah mm. ah, coffee ah. <laughs> um, some medications and I've got my Ray-Bans which I yeah, I'm not gonna say it because I might jinx it this is the third one Third sunglasses. I hope I don't lose it. Fingers crossed. And I'm very disappointed because the last one, I mean all my sunglasses are prescription ones. And it's more expensive. So yeah, it's almost $500. And I probably should do a LASIK surgery soon. So, so not to worry about it. And I've got these Loewe sample like perfumes and <clears throat> I checked in on Loewe like several weeks ago and they sent not sent me but they gave me kindly gave this to me when I was browsing through the perfumes and I love them so much and they told me that you could like layer them on top of each other which is a good idea and it smells so good as well and yeah just because um, Eric if you're watching this video I told him was is Eric here so they thought oh yeah it's not it's, he's my friend but so they gave this to me just was so so sweet and I do use a bag organizer which is this one it's not a branded one but just fits perfectly on here so yeah, that's it guys. I gone through all the contents of the bag. So I feel like it's just perfect. It's just above my waist. It's quite comfortable like that. I mean, if you use the long strap with this, it will go down to my waist, which is... I think for the wallet and chain, it's fine. But for a big bag like this, I don't think it looks flattering like that. It's on the shoulder. It's like this. Just my like final thoughts, guys. Um, this Celine Nano luggage is a very easy bag. I mean, I can't really fault this bag at all. Just because, yeah, it's pretty straightforward. I mean, there's. Not a lot of kafafling or any anything that I can see that's making this bag not working um, for my lifestyle. And yes, guys, if you're thinking about it, it's 
I recommend it guys. I love this bag so much. I feel like this in line with my Loewe puzzle bag are starting to be one of the best and most used bags in my collection since having this. So yeah, that's it guys. Um, I hope you guys really stay safe and try to like boost your immune system. Um, take your vitamins, especially vitamin C and enjoy some sunlight if you could. I mean, uh, I am a nurse guys. I have uh, learned through Florence Nightingale, which is the mother of nursing pretty much. She has this theory of um, the environmental theory that the sunlight will help with recovery and with your health. Yeah, just because sunlight is vitamin D, so that helps as well with your health. And we're gonna leave it here, guys. Um, please subscribe to my channel if you do enjoy my videos or if you're inclined to any of it. Um, I've, I've had a lot of videos on this channel. Please check them out. Thank you so much for watching, um, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.